Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We are back with a new video. If you like our content, please like the video and do share it. So let us start with the first news. The Union Ministry has announced that India will be purchasing number of fighter jets and missile systems for Indian Army. The announcement was made after the defense acquisition council approved the capital procurement of rupees 38000 crore for the procurement of 33 frontline fighter jets missile systems and other military hardware among the fighter jets 21 mig 29 fighter jets will be purchased from russia while 12 sukhoi aircraft will be procured from the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited also the ministry has approved a separate proposal of upgrading the existing 59 MiG-29 aircrafts as there are tensions going on between India and China in Ladakh India has decided to increase its fighting capability by procuring 33 fighter jets for the Indian Air Force also the defense council has approved the procurement of the astra missile as well as the pinak missile which are both indian made missiles astra missile is an air to air missile and astra missile is designed to be mounted on a fighter aircraft and to engage and destroy highly maneuvering supersonic aircraft the range of astra missile is over 70 kilometers and it can fly at a speed of over 5000 kilometers per hour the second pinak missiles is not one missile but a missile system whose range is about 75 kilometers pinak missile system is a multi barrel rocket launcher and the pinak missile system can fire 12 rounds at a time in 44 seconds so a range of fighter aircrafts and missile systems are to be procured by the indian armed forces a good news for india bharat biotech has now collaborated with indian council for medical research to launch its vaccine covaxin early by august 15 recently the drug controller of india approved bharat biotech to manufacture the covaxin for human trials and now to fasten the pace to develop a vaccine the icmr has collaborated with bharat biotech to bring the vaccine as early as august 15 and to do that the bharat biotech will conduct phase 1 and phase 2 human clinical trial simultaneously talking about the stages of vaccine trial for the first one is pre clinical trial in which the vaccine is given to some animals and not humans and thereafter for before the approval of the vaccine there are three more phases phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 so bharat biotech will simultaneously conduct phase 1 and phase 2 human clinical trials now talking about the global news for the vaccine the vaccine developed by the oxford university astra zeneca has reached the last stage trials with 8000 volunteers enrolled for it also there are other vaccines developed by other institutes or companies that are in last stage trials like pfizer biontech Mo- moderna etc the oxford made astra zeneca uh, vaccine is also produced in india by the serum institute of india because the serum institute of india dedicated one of its facility to produce around 400 million doses annually for the oxford vaccine coming on to the next news 
the Intel Capital, which is an investment arm of the global tech Intel Corporation, has invested rupees one thousand eight hundred ninety-four crores in Geo Platform, and has become the eleventh investor in Geo Platforms. Intel Capital is the investment arm of Intel Corporation. Intel Corporation is the leader in the market of semiconductor industries and it is an American company. It is the yearly cycle of Intel Capital, the investment arm, to invest globally in innovative companies with a focus of disruptive technology areas such as ai cloud computing 5g etc the investments was welcomed by mukesh ambani and by the addition of this investment the total investment of geo platform reaches to 117000 crores up till now you can see in the table the top investors in geo platform Also Reliance Jio announced a video conferencing platform known as Jio Meet. Jio Meet is available for the Android device as well as the iOS device and for Windows and Mac. Mukesh Ambani has launched Jio Meet to compete its rival like Zoom, Google Meet and other Microsoft video conferencing platforms. Jio Meet is having all the features that are present in zoom video conferencing app which has become so popular after the corona virus pandemic so this geo meet app is available online and officially launched recently a 13 year old girl from new delhi got dyna awards from the british government the dyna awards are given in the memory of princess diana and the award are given to the young change makers of the world this award was established in 1999 by the british government who wanted to continue princess diana's legacy by establishing a formal way to recognize young people for their social action and humanitarian efforts so what was the effort that the 13 year old girl freya thakral made she was chosen for the award for her recycler app a web based mobile application which connects users with the waste handlers the door to door pickup service helps in easy disposal of the recyclable waste for those who may not be able to drop the waste to the dustbin or the station where the dustbin is placed and so for this recycler app this 13 year old girl got the 2020 diana awards lastly talking about the sad news the number one choreographer of bollywood saroj khan passed away at the age of 71 due to cardiac arrest Among the Bollywood people she has been referred as the mother of choreography in India she has choreographed many popular bollywood songs in her career of over 40 years she has choreographed over 2000 bollywood songs and her last choreographed song was from film kalank which was directed by karan johar in 2019 talking about the awards of miss saroj khan she got three national awards for her choreographed songs and she also received eight film fair awards she also won an international award in form of american choreography award in 2002 for outstanding achievement in feature film lagan So this is it for today if you like this video subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates from our channel